Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so glad that you're gonna be joining us. My name is Amanda, I'm 35 years old. I have a little son named Chase who is three and a little daughter, Quinn, who is a year and a half. And today I am going to do a Shein try-on and it's an activewear try-on. I have heard mixed reviews about Shein. Some people rave about them and say that, you know, even though the quality might not be the best, it's worth it because, you know, even if you wore it a few times, you could just like toss it out if it starts unraveling. And other people said it's a complete flop, like don't waste your money. So I, as a mom and work from home, um, I typically wear athleisure or, you know, like athletic wear, yoga pants and some sort of tank top or t-shirt on the daily. So I figured that I was going to just buy a whole bunch of active wear. So let me show you what I've got and then I'll try everything on for you. Oh, I actually, <laughs> I also purchased a bathing suit. So I think this was like $13 and it looked really cute and I just love the color. And I was like, all right, you can't go wrong, 13 bucks. Let me try that out too. So I'll put that on. Then I got this set of leggings. Now I had been, I kind of was trying to experiment a little bit with my purchases. I had always been wanting to try the leggings with the little like scrunched butt because the models just looked, the butt just looked so good. So I've never bought them and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna spend a ton of money on, you know, like $56 pair of leggings. Let me get this four pack from Shein. So it's got this like lilac gray color that came with it. There's this pretty blue color, black, and then this like dusty rose kind of color. And they are pretty high waisted, I believe. And there's this like ribbed, material at the top and then the bottom are just like, you know, like a stretchy, normal legging um, material. They seem actually a little bit thick, to be honest. And then there's this little cuff at the bottom. Um, and I'll just let you know, I got a small in, I think, ev most everything. So this is 90% nylon and 10% spandex. And I honestly think that that's pretty typical for a legging. Like I think the Lululemon leggings are mostly nylon as well. So there's those. Then I got this four pack of sports bras and these are labeled as one size fits all. I'm gonna tell you right now, I've already tried these on and they are not one size fits all. I am a 34 A and these fit me perfectly. So as you can kind of see, I mean, this is my hand. There's no way that <laughs> if you're big chested, like I don't think they're gonna work. However, they have this like ribbed texture. They're pretty stretchy. They have adjustable straps in the back, which I was excited about. And they have pads, which let me see. I'm pretty sure they probably come out. Yeah, removable pads. So I got these sports bras and I just thought like, I, I went with kind of like neutral colors, like pastel colors because that's just my vibe and then what I was most excited about honestly was a bunch of new workout tank tops because these were all like from seven to like 12 or 13 dollars so I got this one right here it's just like a basic throw on um it's like a mesh and it's obviously see-through so you'd wear a sports bra under it then I got these two um just regular like I wouldn't say they're a crop top, but they're shorter than a normal tank top. And the back, let me see, has a little bit of a cutout, which was cute. So there's like this little keyhole in the back and this twist here. And uh, what was the, these actually feel pretty good quality to be honest. Let me see what the fabric, uh, the, this is a small, and I, I got a small in that one too. Um, okay, I don't know polyamide 78 percent and 22 percent spandex i don't know feels like a normal workout tank top i got another one in white exact same one and then i got this beautiful i, I don't know if you would call this a sage green it's coming off a little lighter and more of like a bluish gray in um, the camera but it is definitely like a really beautiful green and then this this is like my favorite color um this kind of like dusty rose mauveish like light pink color and this one's longer but it's got this like crisscross in the back 
Okay, so let me try everything on for you and I will give you my honest thoughts and review and everything that I bought, I actually threw in like a few pairs of really cheap earrings that were like a dollar and they actually ended up being okay. Uh, but everything that I bought was $110. So look at that, that's insane. Insane, $110 for all of this stuff, like give me a break. Is this real life? Like, can it be that good? Let's find out. Okay guys, so I've got on the sports bra and the leggings. Let's start with the sports bra. So I actually absolutely love the sports bra. It fits me 100% perfectly. Like, I, I, I love it. It is extremely comfortable, it's lightweight, and honestly, like, it's got enough room to move around in. It is not super compression-y, so if you were to be doing something that's very high intense um, in terms of a workout, I probably would get something that's a little bit tighter, but the, um, the pads feel fine inside, and this bottom part is not cutting me off whatsoever, so um, I would say that I'm sure the other... Uh, I'm sure all of the other sports bras in the pack are gonna fit exactly the same, so I probably won't go and show show all of them, but I, you know, for the price, I'll put all the prices of everything and um, the sizes either on the screen or down below. But I like the top, to be honest. Let's get into the pants. Okay, so um, as you can see here, <laughs> they are not forgiving whatsoever. You can see every little, like, I'm very uncomfortable with that. I have a nude seamless thong underneath these and I can even kind of like see it. So I would say I also have my ring light like on me. So I did that on purpose so that you guys get a good um, idea. But these are seamless so they, they don't have that like line running up here which honestly I, I like better. But these took a really, <laughs> not a long time to get on but like they were really, really tight. And so I would say like these hug you in, like if you're moving around, these aren't going anywhere. I, I'm 100% gonna tell you that. However, they are like a little bit too tight um, on the top here for me. I, I feel like if I sized up, I would probably feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, they still fit in everything, but if I were to be like sitting down, uh, that's unflattering, but they would probably be really uncomfortable like to be when you're sitting down. But look, you can even see my belly button through. So they're a little bit too tight for me. Let's talk about the back because I wasn't aware that <laughs> my butt could look so good. So if you can see this like little dark line, that really is helping the booty out. Um, the one thing that I don't like, and here's where the cinch comes in, you can see the actual like cinch material. Hang on, let me get a better angle for you. So like, like damn, I mean like my ass I feel like looks good in these, that's for sure. Like I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting why people like these. Um, but as you can see it like draws attention to this white seam that I just, I don't like and I just think they're a little bit too tight on me and maybe that's the problem. Um, squat test, you tell me. Does that look like they're squat proof? I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, but anyway, they feel, when I squat down like that, it almost feels like they're gonna rip, to be honest. Um, and I don't really like that. I feel like they're 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 kind of like going up my butt a bit and it's slightly uncomfortable. So I haven't worked out in these or anything yet, but my thoughts are they're okay. I would size up. Um, I'm not in love with them. But honestly, the quality is not too bad. Okay, let me put the rest of the stuff on here. Let me show you the black tank top with this. I got the black top on right now and I actually, aside from the fact that you know you can see everything in these leggings, I really like the top. So I've got some room in the front. I love where it hits because honestly, um, if you go by the rule of thirds, it's more aesthetically pleasing for the top to cut me off here where like the top third of me is the top and then the bottom two thirds is the leggings. So I love the top. I, I think it was $7 and I got a small. Um, 
I love it. This is definitely, this is a win. Here's what the back looks like with that little peekaboo little hole and the little tie down here. Okay, let's move on. Okay guys, here is the next outfit. Uh, this is the blush top and same leggings, but these are like a darker, they're like a gray blue color. They're a little like, I think lighter than, um, lighter in person than they're coming off in the camera, but I like these, I think, a lot better. Just because they're a darker color, I think that, you know, I just feel better in them. But again, I really just like, they're too tight. They're just way too tight. I've got like, like bulging out over here. I know that those are like hip dips or whatever they're called that everyone has and everyone's trying to get rid of. But um, they're just, this is just too like, it's not flattering to me. But I feel a lot better wearing them with a shirt that actually like kind of covers the lady <laughs> parts up here. So this I would say is um, definitely cute. I mean, I would absolutely work out in this. I feel very comfortable. Uh, the back of it is, look like, but the, I mean, I have to say that with the pants, I mean, this is an illusion. This is a freaking illusion. My butt does not look like that. I'm sorry, like, wow, okay, <laughs> I will stop. Okay, so this is what the back of the shirt looks like. And very cute, I like it, it's very simple in the front, it's got the little crisscross in the back. I paired it with um, the like bluish purple sports bra. And again, with this scrunch thing going on here, I just don't, even though it makes your butt look good, I don't like that you can see this. And I don't know. I don't know if it's squat proof or not. I'm not like a, can't get that detailed. Um, but I, you know, like, I think it's a cute outfit. What do you guys think? Let's move on. Okay guys, this has to be my favorite color combination. So, but I have to, <laughs> look at these. This is like, I, I'm sorry, this is just very uncomfortable for me to even show you guys. But um, there is a hole in these pants. Okay, so sorry, I don't wanna give you like two, like <laughs> show the lady bits or anything, but there's a hole already in these pants. And I am sure that that hole is there, not because, um, it came like that, probably from hiking them up, I just put a hole in them. So I, again, like I love the color combination, but this is just not like, I don't feel comfortable in this area. <laughs> so I would not go out in public wearing these. But again, like here's, maybe because this is the lightest, this is what the freaking butt, like stop. Please stop. I can't. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, this is my, um, if I liked the pants and they actually fit, like this would be cute. But the top, yes, this is 100%. I'll pair this with some of my other um, pink leggings or black or white or whatever you have and wear this out. And I'm wearing it with the white sports bra. Here's what it looks like from the back. Again, the butt honestly looks pretty good, but very uncomfortable for me. Obviously, I'm probably gonna be like squatting down and putting more holes in here. <laughs> so these will not be worn in public whatsoever. I'm probably honestly just gonna trash them because they're uncomfortable, I don't feel good in them, and they have a hole. So this is a solid no for me on the pants, but I love the top and I love the sports bra. All right, this is definitely more my speed. The black leggings are my absolute favorite because obviously you can't see anything like you can with those lighter colors. So 100%, maybe I even, like it's still uncomfortable with this little like scrunch in the back. It just feels like it's like, if I bend over, it's gonna go right at my butt and like rip right here. But um, because this is black, I, because they're black, they are just, you know, a lot more forgiving and, but look, you can even, you can still see where it's cutting off like my fat right here. Um, so they are still, you know, not big enough for me. They are still like super skin tight and I should have sized it up. But the top, I love the top. I mean, it hits perfectly like right 
a little bit below my waistline so I feel like it's flattering with the black I love a black and white classic combination this is the same as that other black tank top that I had uh, with the little hole in the back just wearing the white sports bra so that's kind of what it looks like in the back I don't know if these are squat proof kind of seems like it you never know they could fall apart any second, um, <laughs> just like the pink ones. But I would say that I absolutely love the top and the black pants, approval for me. All right, this is the final top. I kept the black pants on just because I feel best in them. I've got the black sports bra underneath this so that you could see. So I absolutely love this. It's got these ties on the side right here that you can scrunch up or let them down if you want to have a little bit more coverage and make it a little bit longer, cinch them in to give you more of a shape. Top is extremely cute. I, I love, I need to get more of these because I feel like they're just so perfect for working out because you don't, like, it's like having nothing on, but you still are covered. So if you were at the gym or something and you didn't want to, like, fully go in sports bra and leggings, they're great. Absolutely love this. The back, there's nothing special going on here. It's just, you know, typical back. But this was the last outfit. I absolutely love it, and I'm going to definitely give me some motivation to work out now that I feel good in these things. Okay, last but not least, I'll just show you the bathing suit that I got. Um, it is a beautiful color. It fits, honestly, true to size. Uh, pretty full coverage in the back. And look, you can see the lines from me trying on all those other pants that were just super tight on me. Bathing suit is cute. I mean, for 13 bucks, like, seriously, you can't really go wrong right quality seems okay decent uh and i like that it's not actually cutting me off i've got i feel like i have a nice amount of like stretch up at the top and on the bottom as well i'll show you quickly from the back this is what it looks like so pretty full coverage on the butt area i like it i'm definitely gonna wear it out i feel very like held in and you know, good in the bathing suit. All right, so overall thoughts on Shein. Those leggings, I'm not gonna discount Shein for their leggings. I wanted to try the scrunch butt and now I know that like some of their stuff, maybe in the leggings specifically, run a little bit small because typically when I order a size small, my normal size, they fit, I usually don't have an issue. So maybe I chose the wrong leggings, but I, you will not catch me um, outside at all at or in public wearing those light colored leggings. They were honestly so, all of them were just super tight, like too tight. So even, you know, maybe I'll try them out working out and I'll like them, but whatever. I probably would not buy leggings from them again. On the other hand, all of the tops, I would say 10 out of 10. I mean, for $7, $8, $9, $10, bucks, like, that's amazing. I'm not going to go, like, I typically spend, you know, about $20 or between, you know, sometimes more, 15 to, like, 30 bucks on a, on a workout top. And no, I'm sorry. I would rather personally buy a bunch of things that are cheaper and have more options and wear them less times than to splurge on a $50 top and feel like I have to wear it multiple times to work out in in order to get my my money's worth. So I would say like I'm definitely buying from Shein again. I'm doing it and I'm getting more workout tops. I'm curious to try kind of like other clothes and also their shoes. Let me know in the comments what if you've ever purchased from Shein and what your experience was. And also let me know if you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you want me to do more of these like try-ons. These are honestly becoming more of my favorite thing to do. I like to watch them honestly and, um, and hear reviews before I purchase things. So let me know, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't. I'll talk to you in the next one, bye.